Yo, so, as it's Valentine's Day or maybe it was, I don't know when you're watching this. Anywho, happy Valentine's Day. So, see, everyone has some people who they love and I have some characters that I love that I want to share with you guys. As you know, characters are a very important part of your story and they kind of make the story. I'm more into reading books or watching TV shows that are more character driven than plot at times. So, these are my top six favorite characters of all time. Let's get into it. It's a character from Sensei. That's right, everyone. It's everyone's favorite, Amanita Kaplan. Okay, who doesn't love her, okay? If you don't love Amanita, we need to talk. We really need to talk. I mean, whom's test? Listen, she is the most wonderful human being on this planet. She is so fierce. She will kick your ass if you hurt Nomi or any of her closed ones okay she's just as sassy she loves books she works in a bookstore okay she has the coolest hair she has the coolest mom and dads she is cool herself okay i can go on and on and on about talking about amanita i love sentit a lot a lot i would go on and on and on and on talking about it but amanita is one of the best parts of the show she has helped all of the characters in some ways she's a mind-blowing person and she would do literally anything for her loved ones she would go to the depths of hell she would burn down the building for her she's also very strong right she loves books i love her i would die for amanita would die for amanita laya from an ember in the ashes by sabah tahir see now I know there are a lot of people who do not like Lai and think she's, oh my gosh, she's so weak and she's so, you know, not strong and she ran away. Listen, listen to me. Laya is the best, okay? I mean, okay. I have read only one and a half of An Ember in the Ashes, but the entire time I was just rooting for Laya. I just wanted her to be safe, okay? The hell she has been through, hell she has been through in An Ember in the Ashes. And she's not a strong will person. She's weak, okay? She was so weak at the start. But the drive to just bring her brother back is so much that she will she will do anything for it. Even though she ran away from it at first. It was an instinct, okay? But she tries to do her best throughout the book to get her brother back and just make it all right her will to just strive for the better and just see listen she's my baby okay i want her to be happy in the next two books which i know is not going to be the case because i know sabat here and what she has in plans for these characters and stories but theek hai it's fine a really vulnerable yet strong character is Laya and I would fight for her anytime, anytime. Fight for her. The next character that I'm going to be talking about is also from a TV show and that is Jake Peralta from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I love Jake. I would die for Jake. I would do anything for Jake because he's one of the most relatable characters I've ever seen. He's so humble. He would do anything for all of his friends and for anyone. I mean, he's he's literally a cop. Okay, come on. He's one of the smartest detectives. He's so funny. He's relatable. Okay, I somewhat on some level I relate to him. Him being a mess. TM is my jam. I mean, I'm like yo Jake. Same. Like literally same. Okay, like. I can relate to Jake on some weird level, which I can't explain because I don't know what that level is. But no, just Jake being this really cool dude who's, you know, this goofy guy, but jokes around and sometimes messes up, but then he realizes his mistake and tries to be better. That's how you want a person to be. That's Jake Peralta for you. I love Jake. He's the best. He's the best. Bye. Wait, no, don't go. There's still my top three favorite characters remaining and they are important to me okay 
these characters have given me life they have been my strength and my love and my everything coming at number 3 is this person person i don't know if it's a person it's not a person this character i have a love hate relationship with because he's so annoying at times that i would really want to tell him to just get over yourself but then i love him so much it is yato from noraga surprise surprise <laughs> so noraga is my first manga that i've ever read and i'm so thankful for it because it is a, a jayam so yato is a lesser known god and to publicize himself he is a delivery god who works only for fi and so people can call him up and yes he will be present minor spoilers by the way yato was born out of a wish so he is not really born born he is created by someone which i'm not going to tell you guys he was not a good god he used to do stuff but then when he understood that what he was doing was not right he stopped doing it and he just wanted to become the best person that he can be he wanted to help people he wants to be the god of happiness okay even though he comes off as a very 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 annoying person at the start and just this selfish asshole but you know he's he's really a selfless guy he's he just wants to be the best he just wants to help his friends his moods are relatable sometimes but he's so passionate he's so strong he's so caring and loving of the people he sometimes is useless and uh, and gets treated like trash by almost half of the people but it's fine guys it's fine because we love him and i love him so the skin coming in at number 2 This character is not the only character that I, that I love from this book. Just like Sense8 and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I literally love almost all the characters in in those TV series and in this book. I literally love all of them. Some I don't, some I really do. But I had to narrow it down to only one because then this video will go more than forty five minutes, and I can't afford that. I can't afford forty five minutes, guys. Sorry. Anyways, this character that I'm going to talk about is from is. Inej Gaffa from ah, what is this sorry is Inej Gaffa from Six of Crows this is my favorite book of all time if you don't know it is my favorite book i love it so much Inej is my everything i would die for her that i have i've said this like a lot of times but she is the strongest character strongest baby i have known okay she has been through hell hell and then yet remains this strong person she puts her foot down when it's necessary okay she just doesn't you know get swept off of things no 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 she is very strong she would die fighting for her friends she would do that she literally did that okay she just wants to see the best in people and be the best version of herself again with the best version of herself isn't that what we are all trying to be though even though she's been through all this shit she still has that faith in her gods in her saints it's just so heartwarming to see in it just fight for herself that's what we all wanted there's so many scenes in which i'm like inej gaffa will you marry me will you please please but that's not possible she's she's not real and i'm not sad about it come on, come on. actually i am but okay let's not talk about that Anyway, I hope you guys read Six of Crows and love my baby Inej and all the other babies, all my other baby characters. I would wear T-shirts called "I Love Inej" and her photo with it. I would not care <laughs> about people judging me. I would not. I would literally print her face, write "I Love Inej" and go on. So, if you know me, you probably know who this character is. It is the love of my life. the person that i would really die for i am in love with this man in love with this man i have never felt these feelings for a character okay and the final character that i love so much is james aka gem casters from the infernal devices from the shadow hunter chronicles by cassandra clare This man is my dream. I love him. 
I would die for you. Would die for him. I can't pinpoint the reason of why do I love this character. I just do. Him being the sweetest gem ever. Okay. You know the way he presents himself, the way he is with everyone around him, and he's just mesmerizing. It's just the way Cassandra Clare has portrayed this really beautiful boy and this beautiful boy with a soft heart. He's the best. He's a total softy, but not really. He's not really a softy. You know, you think he's a softy. He's not. He's Jem Carstairs has depths. Okay, he's. More than we think he is, I'm pretty sure about it. If I could write sonnets and ballads for Jem Carstairs, I would. I would be that lovelorn poet that I'm studying in English literature right now. Okay, I would write ballads which would go on and on about him, and I would still not be able to pinpoint why I love him or conclude why I love him. Okay, that's how much I love him. If that doesn't tell you my situation right now, I don't know what else. Will. Okay, so that's it for the day. So thank you for watching this very long ass video that I've posted after after a very long time, and for me being inconsistent, obviously. Sorry for that. I hope I will get to make more and more videos from time to time now, and I know. Good luck, guys. See you next time. Bye.